Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So vectors from philippic.com, I will add download link and project files. First step, let's select this scene 1 and let's move the inside or main composition. Then select this scene 2, move the again inside composition. Finally, select this scene 3, move to inside composition. Let's select this scene 2 and scene 3, move to right. Okay, and open scene 1. Let's make first scene animation. Let's select this card and press P. Go to here, make new passing shape frame. Go to first second and let's move to down. Select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, let's. Go to last shape frame, let's zoom to shape frame and go to 10 shape frame again. Let's move to down, go to 10 shape frame again, move to up, again go to 10 shape frame, move to down for bones effect. Let's see. Okay, so we have problem with shape frames. Let's select all shape frames, right mouse and go to shape frame interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's see again. Okay, select last 4K frames. Move to left and go to graph editor. Let's go to here. Zoom to graph and select this graph. Let's make like this. Okay, let's move to left. Make graph like this. Okay, that's good. So. Let's click this icon for back to shape frames. Hold shift press R, make rotation shape frame, change rotation 6 and go to here. Change minus 4. Go to here again, change 2 and go to last shape frame, change 0. Select rotation shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So select these coins and select this first coin go to here let's press p make new passing shape frame and let's move to up and go to 10 shape frame let's move to down go to 10 shape frame again move to up again go to 10 shape frame move to down let's select shape frames make easy let's see okay again we have problem with shape frames Let's select all chain frames, right mouse, chain frame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear. Click OK, let's see. OK, that's good. So, select chain frames, go to graph editor, let's zoom to graph. Let's select this graph and move to left. Let's see. OK, let's make like this. OK, so back to chain frames and select chain frames, move to right and select this coin. Hold G, press S, make scale shape frame, go to first second, change scale zero. Select scale shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, select shape frames, let's move to right. Okay, select these four passing shape frames, go to graph editor again, and select this graph, move to right. Okay. Let's select these shape frames, move to left again. Okay, select shape frames again, go to graph editor, let's select this graph, make like this. Okay, that's good. So, select these shape frames, move to right. Okay, nice. So, in this time, select these all shape frames, Control C and select this coin 2. Control V and select this coin 3, Control V. Let's select this coin 2, press P and go to last shape frame, select 4 passing shape frames and let's move to here. Let's see. Nice. And select this coin 3, press U, select this 4 passing shape frames and go to last shape frame. Let's move to here. Let's see again. Okay, nice. Let's close shape frame settings and select this coin 2. Let's move to right. Select this coin 3. Move to right again. Let's see. Okay, that's good. 
So select this blue cube and press S, click this icon, make new scale, change frame, go first second and let's change scale 0. Select change frames, make easy. Let's see. Nice and select change frames, go to graph editor, let's make smooth graph. And back to change frame, select last change frame, move to right. Okay, that's good. And select this blue layer. Press S, go to here, make scale shape frame, click this icon and go to first second. Let's change this zero. Select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, go to graph editor. Let's make graph smooth. Okay, nice. Back to shape frames. Let's move to right. Okay. Then select this paper one and let's go to solo, select this pen tool, let's make pen like this, click selection tool, go to FX preset, search FX stroke and select this stroke, let's use for this paper one and change pen style, reveal original image, change brush size like this and change int zero make end keyframe. frame go to here change end 100 let's see okay and let's change brush hardness 100 okay then select this paper two go to solo and let's select pen tool again make pen tool like this Click selection tool and select this paper one, select this stroke, control C, back to paper two and control V. Let's see. Okay, and let's move to right paper two. Nice. Let's select these layers, press U and select shape frames, make easy. Go to graph editor. Let's make smooth graph. Okay, select shape frames, move to right. Okay, nice. So let's unsolo and close shape frame settings. Select this paper shadow, press T, change opacity 0, and in this time, make opacity shape frame. And go to here, change 100. Select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Let's move to left. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's select this paper shadow, link to paper one, select this paper two, link to paper one, and select this paper one, press P, make new passing chain frame, go to 10 chain frame. Let's move to up, go to 10 chain frame again, move to down, again go to 10 chain frame, move to up, again go to 10 chain frame, move to down. Select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's select shape frames, move to left. Nice. So in this time, let's select these lines and lock layer. Okay, let's close these shape frames and go to pen tool. Let's make one line like this. Click selection tool, chain stroke like this. Let's chain three and go to add open trim pads. Open trim pads here, change end zero, make end shape frame. Go to here, change end 100. Select shape frames, make easy. Go to graph editor. Let's make smooth graph. Let's see. Okay, let's unsolo this line vectors. Okay, let's select last shape frame, move to right. And go to graph editor again. Let's make graph like this. Okay, that's good. So back to shape frames and let's select these lines solo and select the shape layer. Let's change name line one and control D, 
move to down okay and press u and go to here let's change this end keyframe like this and this keyframe let's change end like this okay let's select these lines and delete let's unsolo all this line layers and let's make random animation select this line 2 move to right and line 3 move to right and 4 and 5 and 6 let's see okay that's good so back to main let's see here okay nice let's press s change scene one composition so in this time let's create new null object for fake camera right mouse new and null object change name camera and for move to anchor point center hold control and double click palm behind click selection tool and select the scene one and scene two let's link to camera select camera let's go to here and press p make new patching keyframe. frame go to 10 keyframe. frame let's move to up and select this scene two let's go to here and press p move to down okay let's see nice select keyframes. frames make easy go to graph editor and select this graph make like this and select last keyframe. frame move to right let's say again okay select keyframes. frames let's move to left nice so in this time let's open scene 2 and select this gift let's move to here and press p make new passing keyframe let's move to here okay and go to 10 keyframe move to down let's move to back to car and move to down go to 3 keyframe 1 to 3 let's move to up go to 3 keyframe again 1 to 3 move to down Select keyframes frames make easy. Let's see. Okay, we have problem again with these keyframes. frames. Let's select keyframes, frames. Right mouse keyframe frame interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's see. Okay, nice falling animation. So select this gift. Let's Control D and press P. Select keyframes, frames. Go to last keyframe frame and move to right. Let's move to right again. Let's see. Okay, move to right this layer. And select this GIF2, Control D, press P again, go to last shape frame, select shape frames, and let's move to up. Move to left. Okay, let's see. Nice, and select this GIF3, let's move to right okay nice so let's see go to main and let's select the scene 2 click this icon for see this part okay nice so let's press s change scale move to up okay that's good and let's open scene one and select these coins let's go to main and see timing okay go to scene one and press p make new passing keyframe. frame go to 10 keyframe, frame and let's move to down let's see okay back to scene one and let's zoom to keyframes. frames and select these three frames move to left select this move to left for fast animation okay so select three frames let's move to right and this move right go to last three frame coin three and move to down 
and go to here select queen to last shape frame move to down again and go to here select coin one last shape frame move to down let's see what's the main okay so let's click this icon for see these parts nice go to window open animation comes 3 and open starter precoms let's open shape elements okay i wanted this shape elements let's click this and click apply let's see nice and in this time let's open scene one and go to last shape frame go to edit split layer and delete select coin two go to last shape frame go to edit and split layer delete and go to last coin three go to edit and split layer and delete let's go to here let's see okay and select this shape animation let's go to here let's select this composition move to here and move to down okay that's good and control D move to right okay very nice and again control D for last coin move to here and move to up okay let's see nice it's very good so in this time let's back to bros go to here go to here and let's use these lines click add close animation composer let's see okay very nice and go to effects presses search effect fill let's use fill for these lines let's close sound and go to color change white click ok let's see okay let's move to back here move to left okay let's press t change or paste like this let's see nice so let's open scene 2 and let's select this gif3 gif2 and gif1 let's link to car select this car and press p make new passing key frame go to 10 key frame move to down go to 10 key frame again move to up select key frames make easy let's see okay select key frames hold alt move to left and go to here move to down again okay that's good let's see nice so in this time let's select this whale one and whale two and press air make rotation shape frame go to here go to five second or six press n and change rotation 10 and this change 10 let's see okay select key frames make easy let's see again okay and select this car let's press air go to here make rotation key frame and go to here change rotation minus 2 let's see and in this time change rotation 0 Select key frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, let's select last two key frame, move to right, and this move to right. Nice, let's see here. Okay, that's good. Let's go to scene two and let's hold shift press P and in this time make new passing key frame go to six key frame one two three four five six let's move to down go to six key frame again one two three four five six select this key frame control c control v select these three key frames control c and control v for loop animation 
Let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's make again control V paste. Nice, let's see here. Let's select this scene 3. Let's move to here and open scene 3. Select these shape layers. Let's go to window, open animation composite 3, open starter, press it and open this folder go to window again open animation comes here anchor point mover and click this like for moved anchor point up okay select this click for moved up let's select from behind move to here okay and again move to here and this move to right and let's go to scene one. Let's select, let's click this icon for back to shape frames and select this blue layer. Press U and let's select shape frames. Control C, go to scene three. Select this window. Go to first second, control V. And this control V, let's see. Okay, let's move to right. Go to six second, press N and make work area and select this layer control v let's press s and change this 100 and this zero and click this icon okay nice and select this shop go to solo and press s click this icon control v let's see Okay, that's good. Let's unsolo and select this shop one, move to right. And select these windows, move to right. Okay, and select these store layers, all these layers. And let's use overshot scale. Click in and close animation composer and this anchor point mover. And let's make random animation. Okay, and move to right. Okay, and select shape frames. Let's move to left for fast animation. And let's move to right here in for slow animation. And move to left. Okay, that's good. Let's move to left. nice so back to main and let's move to here okay and let's open scene 2 let's close all three frames and select this car body press s click this icon make scale chain frame and go to here chain scale like this Select chain frames make easy let's see these chain frames and make easy Let's see. Let's go to shape frames and let's create new null object. Hold control, double click palm behind for move to anchor point center. Click session tool and move to here. Let's select this car, link to null object, select this null and press P, make new patching shape frame. Go to here and move to down, go to here, move to up like this. Let's see. Select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Let's select this shape frame, move to up. Go to graph editor. And let's make graph like this. Okay, and let's hold shift press air, make rotation shape frame. Go to here. Chain rotation like this. And chain rotation like this. Select rotation key frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, let's chain rotation like this. Nice. And select these wheels, wheel one and wheel two. Let's press P, make new passing key frame, go to here. And let's move to left and move to right this. 
say keyframes make easy let's see okay let's move to like this and go to here hold shift press s and this hold shift press s makes the keyframes go to here and change zero make keyframes easy let's see okay let's see here nice and select the scene 3 press p make new passing keyframe and go to here let's move to up and go to 5 keyframes move to down go to 10 keyframe move to up go to 10 keyframe again move to down let's see okay say so keyframes make easy and let's make smooth keyframes okay select so last three keyframes hold alt move to left okay say so keyframes make keyframe interpolation linear click ok and go to graph editor and in this time let's select this graph make like this okay and let's select this chip frame move to down and delete this okay let's move to right okay not bad let's hold shift press air and make rotation chip frame go to here chain rotation like this and go to last shape frame change two or let's change one and go to here change zero select shape frames make easy okay let's open scene three and select these stars let's move to down and move to back to shop let's see here again Okay, let's delete rotation shape frames. Let's say shape frame move to up. Okay, that's good. So let's back to scene three and press P, make new patching shape frame and go to here. Let's move to up. Select shape frames. Let's move to right and make easy. Got graph editor. Let's make smooth graph. Okay, select last shape frames. Move to right. And select this star 2. Select shape frames. Move to right. And star 3. Move to right. Okay, that's good. Let's see main. Okay, select shape frames, move to left. Let's see. Nice. So back to scene two and select this pin. Let's move to right. And go to here. Let's press P, make new passing shape frame. And let's move to here this shape frame and go to last shape frame let's move to left this pin and move to back to car hold shift press s make scale shape frame go to here change scale zero let's see full animation okay that's good so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.